Hi, welcome to a product tutorial and review by Robojax. In this video, we are going to do the test and review of this PZEM061 AC power meter that can work with any voltage around the world from 80 to 260 volts. We are going to see if it can measure active power or reactive power or maybe both. And also we will connect a capacitor in parallel with the load to see the effect of reactive power with the with this device we are going to see how we can use this ac power meter to measure uh, the power of uh, appliances and ac loads this is the model uh, 016 uh, which can display the current the power the amount of energy has been consumed in this video first we will have a look at the specification and total power that this device can offer after that i'm going to show you how you can prepare the wire uh, for current measurement and power measurement and then i will going to test two or three d different devices to see how much power and current that they consume then i'm going to show you how we can set up the alarm let's get started with this When I purchased the package, this is how it arrived. And since this package is for multiple items, for DC, this is 016, and this is coil CT. Let's open it. Instruction in English. Wiring diagram dimensions. And also instruction in Chinese. So we have the main current sensor and then the actual device have good instruction in here. Uh, the specification for this PZ EM016 is uh, shown here. So the operating voltage is between 80 to 260 volts AC, meaning that it can work anywhere in the world. The, the rated power is 100 ampere or 22 kilowatt. The frequency that it can work is 45 to 65. In North America, USA, Canada, and Mexico is 60 hertz. In Asia and Europe is 50 hertz. And the measure accuracy is one grade, which is ambiguous. So maybe it's one digit. The outer panel width is 89.4 millimeter. The outer panel width is 49.6 millimeter it has some edge and the inner width is 44.4 millimeter yes, it's sold on ebay for around ten dollars this is the item on ebay they're selling different models this is the model that i purchased it's around ten dollars no affiliation with this store uh, so you can buy any from any anywhere anybody else that you wish how it works is that the current that passes through each wire will create a magnetic field and the amount of current determines the intensity of magnetic field and so when the wire passes here the magnetic field of that will be induced on this winding and uh, this device this this is the winding that that coil transformer with the two wires come here this will measure it in order for this to function and also to display the power properly and calculate it you need to connect the these two wires to ac so whatever you have you will connect it to the ac it's very simple i'm going to show you how to connect that this is the voltage on the line and when you connect a load also you will read the current and the power related which means voltage multiplied by current will be displayed here so this is the product of these two value and this is the total energy that has been consumed or measured by this device and it has also a backlight that uh, at night or any dark condition it can be viewed this can measure uh, uh, the power up to 22 kilowatt or up to 100 ampere this meter can uh, can measure up to 100 ampere or 22 kilowatt depending on the voltage and the region that you are so whichever comes if it's 22 kilowatt and the current is less it can measure up to 22 kilowatt but if a hundred ampere come f comes first it will not reach for example in canada if we have 100 ampere 100 times this will be 12 kilowatt so in canada th this can measure up to 12 kilowatt maximum but if you are in a region that has 220 volts and uh, you will have this 100 so if you put it it will reach up to 22 kilowatt
on the current transformer i i have soldered and put heat shrink for these two wires with a, this uh, pen header so this can be inserted uh, easily in here and also i've prepared this uh, female gst connector with these two pens this will be used to connect to ac power so i'm going to connect it in these two pens here and the current transformer will be connected in here the current transformer is connected in here at these two pens and these two wires have been connected here so this can be connected to the ac i have this wire this will be connected to the out outlet and this will be connected to the load at this point i have this connected it and this is joint and at this section i just put a 3.5 millimeter uh, bullet connector i can insert this current transformer here and connect it and because the current is, is passing that way in here i have two other connectors these are gst connectors then the gst connector that i've prepared on the meter will be connected here to get the actual voltage and for the capacitor i've prepared this wire this will be connected to the power and this will be connected to this capacitor i have here it says common one of the wire will be connected to common one of the wire will be connected to herm this is 35 microfarad and this side is for the fan 5 microfarad in order to see the maximum effect i'm going to use this herm it will be connected and then i will connect this into this uh, cable that i have to this power meter like this So the power meter is connected through GST connector uh, to this AC. I'll try to measure different devices power. This is a toaster rated at 800. We are in Canada and uh, the voltage is 120 volts. So we are going to measure the power of this and other devices. And then I will pass this wire through this current transformer and plug in this, in this to the power. And as you can see, this is turned on. No load is connected. This is my load and this is the plaque for this load. I will connect it, but still it needs another switch to turn on. No load is connected. It shows 0.4 watt or 0.05 ampere. Now I will turn the load on. And as you will see here soon, and it shows 792 watt, and as you can see, it's heating up. So that's 6.59 ampere. Now this is off, and it shows 0.5 watt or 0.4 watt. I'm connecting this capacitor, the 35 microfarad capacitor. So this is just a capacitive load, and it shows here 1.7 ampere but it shows 1.8 watt this is a reactive load if you multiply current by the voltage 1.7 times 123 you're supposed to be getting 209 reactive power and because this is not showing reactive power it, sh it shows 1.8 watt and as you remember it was showing 0.5 watt so it's 1.3 watt out of 200 what it shows so that's very minimal now let's turn this on and see the effect of that the capacitor is connected now i'm connecting the toaster now the toaster is connected let's turn it on seven hundred ninety six this is exactly the same as before with addition of maybe one percent now let me disconnect this capacitor so we are reading 792 or 93 it's now 91 so that 1% or less than, less, than, less than even a 1% was added. So this is pretty good 
device it measures real power not reactive power now this capacitor has stored energy if i touch this i might get a shock so let's just discharge it and it's now discharged so the wire that you use must be able to handle and there should not be much drop and now let's measure the power of this uh, panasonic cloth iron this is labeled at 1200 watt at 120 volts now connecting it So 1150 watt, 10 ampere. Now this is a heat gun, which has a motor, capacitive load, and also it has a heat element, which is resistive load. This is combination of both. Let's test this. As you can see, without any load, it shows 0.5 watt or 0.05 ampere as well. I'm connecting it. Without a capacitor or anything, this has uh, two mode and high. I'm gonna put it at high. So 11.7 or 11.69, 1300 watt, 13.66. Now I'm going to turn this on and while it's on, I'm gonna connect this capacitor. This is a plaque for the capacitor. It jumped to 1.37 Let me disconnect it 71 or 72 With this it just shows 73 or 74 Now if I go with a Let's go with the low power. This is mostly heating elements, 94 watt. Plug in the capacitor. It is reducing the power because this is co correcting the inductive load. Now 2.3, 2.3 ampere with a capacitor. Without the capacitor, it reduced, but the power is increased. Let's now discharge the capacitor. This is the amount of energy that has been stored and this device is memorizing it. Let's say you want to reset it and make it zero and start a new calculation. So use a screwdriver, press and hold until this flashes. When this flashes, just short press and it will be zero. I just press it one more time. The backlight can be turned on and off. If you want to turn it off, just press this. It will be off and press it again, it will be on. This meter can uh, trigger an alarm when the amount of energy that is used is above the threshold limit. Let's say you want to set this for uh, 1100 watt and when the power that is measured is above that 1100, it will trigger the alarm. So let's set it for example for 1000, press and hold this for some time. And then as soon as you see CRL release, now this one is blinking, it goes to the next as soon as you see CRL release now this one is blinking it goes to the next one and it comes back so after 9 it is 0 because this is kilowatt so 1.1 .1, I want to set it at 1.1 now it's 1.1 1 .1 kilowatt now hold this for 5 seconds and it will exit
So now we have set this. If the power is above 1100 watt, we will see that the alarm will turn on. I've connected this uh, toaster, which is below one kilowatt. We will measure that one first. So 740 watt, no alarm or nothing. Now I'm gonna change it to higher current. I've connected now the heat gun. At the lower power, we will see first. It's about 90 watt. If I go above this, alarm. So the alarm started, it was just blinking. Thank you for watching. This was how to use this 016 AC power meter. Please thumb up the video if you like it and learn something. And also if you have comment or question, post it at the uh, comment section below the video. If you subscribe, I appreciate it.